Hello, dear part participants of seminar, farmers, interested people. My name is Andres Sabitos. I am an agronomist in one of the largest agricultural companies in Latvia, Tandukri. And I will tell about our experience in creating healthy soil. Tandukri operates 4,600 hectares of agricultural land in the southwest part of Latvia. The crops grown are winter wheat, covering an area of 2,000 hectares, and field beans and winter oysi drape per 1,000 hectares each. They are traditionally grown crops with constant market demand and predictable purchase prices. And Outside crop rotation in the fields, less flavorable, flavorable for cash crop growing. We grow grasslands for seed and biomass production, various summer crops for cover crop seed production. As well, we have set up various green areas, buffer zones, and production trials. Our crop rotation is as follows. After winter wheat, we saw winter oysi drape, followed again by winter wheat. After harvesting in the same autumn, we seeding cover crop. And then followed by the beans in next spring. In our opinion, it's a sufficiently balance between health and profitability crop rotation, but not yet ideal. Till we continue to look for a suitable complement to crop rotation, which at the same would be a predictable demand for the realization on the market. Ideally, it could be one of the spring crops with the possibility to, to sow another cover crop in autumn. Here is a list of our healthy soil build-up techniques, each of which I will explain in more detail in the following slides. These are precision farming technologies, replacing mineral fertilizer with organic manure, improving soil microbiological value by composts, minimizing soil disturbance, reducing compaction by introducing CFT, control traffic farming, cover crop growing, and always topical crop rotation improvement. Precision agriculture. Today it has become one of the things without which an efficient agricultural holding of this scale would not be possible. The first step in this area we made 10 years ago when we decided uh, to digitalize our soil analyze results, followed by the precise application of fertilizers to each plot. To illustrate these two figures, uh, I show the content phosphorus levels in our fields and how they are changed during eight year period from low to optimum. We already use another precision agricultural technology nitrogen sensor for precise application of nitrogen fertilizers and certain pesticides. And these technologies make it possible to save fertilizers in areas where they are already present in sufficient quantities while at the same time reducing surface and groundwater pollution. Replacing fertilizers with organic fertilizers has been one of the cornerstones of our fertility for many years. Thus we bring not only nutrients into the soil, but also additionally organic matter. In addition, we do this in a more soil friendly way. In the beginning, it was chicken manure, 
that we buy from an ind industrial poultry factory and that we usually incorporate at once into corporation before winter oilseed rape. However, with the transition to no-till technologies, we are facing a new challenge, how to apply fertilizer. And as often happens in life, it's in us to formulate the question correctly and look, the answer is not behind the mountains. We decided to compost the chicken map. When composting the easily soluble and volatile nutrients in manure are transformed into more stable organic compounds, the ammonium nitrogen content is reduced to a minimum. And there's also unpleasant manure at door. Therefore, shallow incorporation while strip till seeding sufficient. We are starting to appreciate more and more the microbiological value of compost and its role in increasing soil fertility. And there are, are, are another methods of increasing soil microbiological activities such as compost teas. For the moment, this is idea this idea is being implemented only in experiments with the goal to understand whether this technology could be the applicable in our farm. And this would open up much wider possibilities to use microbiological preparations to increase soil fertility in much larger areas and more often than it's possible with incorporation of compost. Already nine years ago, in parallel with traditional combined disc drill, we started sowing with our first strip drill, drill Clydon. And now for the last three years, our second drill is the Novak Direct Seed Drill. There has been a gradual shift from plowing to minimal tillage and from there to direct sowing technologies through the farm. And if in the beginning the idea was only to reduce costs, then now we consider the advantage of this technology for its positive effect on soil fertility because degradation of organic matter caused by intensive soil tillage is reduced to a minimum. Yeah, and the next logical step by this technology, which we are only steering for a moment, is to minimize the in intensity of machinery travel in the field while fitting the working weights of the implements and organizing their movement in the field so that they run on the same track during different operations. This would make it possible for areas of soil with natural soil structure that have not been affected by the tractor wheels during the last two or even more years because it has been proven that the first pass over untouched soil can already damage the soil structure by 70% of what could be damaged by any mammal by any amount of subsequent passes. And thus, we became more and more involved in soil fertility problems. A natural question arises: what else can be done for the soil? This is growing cover crops, of course. Yeah. In the first season, uh, we spontaneously decided to do so uh, with winter rye, but our, our knowledge was minimal on these issues. And we, the idea was that it stay green till next crop, it makes some biomass, it improves soil holding capacity. But at the end, we get a problem with the volunteer rye and that biomass was not so high. So we tried also for salia in early harvested field, but as we're not growing any more winter barley, this option goes away.
And for next season, we prepared more serials by studying the relevant information from different sources and uh, prepared diverse mixture of the crops, which should freeze in the winter, should be winter killed. But uh, it turned out that annual ryegrass in recent warm winters, however, was not winter killed. And again, we, we get the problems with volunteers in following winter wheat. And that uh, biomass also was not so high. It was, that was bad alternative for winter rye. And that's why Next year, we added more cereals, warm season carbon producers to the mix, who had shown good results in small trial a year ago, like sunflower, maize, celia. Uh, but this year, the first frosts came unusually early. And most of our cover crops were terminated permanently. In addition, oats, which had not yet been frozen, were covered in rust, lost their green leaf surface, and as a result, the view was not at all we wanted to see. And this year's cover crop mixture shows that uh, changes was made. To see what changes we made to adapt to little bit later seeding terms, and to, after taking lessons from previous seasons, we increased uh, mine coal climate uh, carbon producer oats. We increased companion for them, batch, because it's more winter resistant. Not winter resistant, but early frost resistant. And in late, Later seeding terms, we disabled uh, warm climate crops at all. And with this table, I wanted to show how nature itself helps us to learn lessons that we miss, what we missed. But it's not cheap. Therefore, we should share this information with our experiments. Therefore, we are here. And here you see images of cover crop mixtures of the two last season, which I told, uh, told about them in previous slide. So here you see the frost killed and disease. How pure is biomass? Even the oats are created airs that uh, is not quite good coverage. And nearby you see this year's result. But maybe that's better uh, option of our chosen oats variety, maybe a little bit later, maybe more uh, disease resistant. and higher, higher amount of oats. And uh, this year, we look at this field, and now we're trying to understand what we else can, what else we could improve. We know that seeding term will not be earlier because we changed to more yielding winter wheat varieties with higher yield potential. As the rule, they are not early varieties. But anyway, we have to take care about our profit. And we decided to improve our decisions during cover crop mixture making. And here is another good example of warm climate crops what they can do when not early frosts coming. And you see that uh, our case is really specific. We want winter killed crop, we want carbon producer. We don't want that 
will be early killed. And uh, maybe another part of Latvia, 200 kilometers north, uh, there is another seeding terms possible, another frost, early frost terms, maybe that reduce options for the farmer to make good cover crop mixture and opposite more to south 200 kilometers the farmer gets more options to grow corn sunflower produce more what he wants so shortly that's it wish you great cover crops